Hello everyone and welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and let's go ahead and install GNS3 inside of Linux. Specifically we're dealing with Linux Mint 14 Mate with 64-bit. And so what we see here is we have our Linux Mint already up and running. Before we actually begin, let's review where your downloads folder is. So you've got your Router Gods home folder there. If you double click, you'll get the downloads folder and that's important because this is where our downloads will go. So let me just erase this old picture that I've got there. So first order business, let's go ahead and install Wireshark. So Wireshark is kind of a prerequisite that you'll need for GNS3. We'll go down to menu. It's going to be really easy. We're going to go to software manager, which is kind of like the, the all in one place where you'll find software and you enter in your root password, which should be router gods if you followed up my, on my previous videos. And inside this search box, we are gonna type Wireshark. Wireshark's right there, double click, and go ahead and click on install. Okay, after Wireshark is installed, close out Software Manager, and open up your browser, go to Menu, and Firefox. Go to the GNS3 page, gns3.net and then after you go to gns3 page go to scroll down actually first we want to download Dynamips so click on the Dynamips tab right there and then since we're on Linux we're going to be downloading Dynamips 028RC3 for Linux 64-bit click on that sucker right there it's going to start a download automatically and it will pop it into the downloads folder. Save file. And that should be done in a couple seconds. I'm going to minimize that. Now let's go back to the GNS3 main page and go to download. We're going to download the latest and greatest. Yeah, right here, it's kind of small, but you'll see 8.4 release candidate 3. Click on that guy, it will bring you to another page. Click on the SourceForge link. And then inside of SourceForge, we're going to click on gns384rc3source.tar.gz. Okay, we're going to save the file. It's going to save it in the default location. And while you're doing that, you probably should download the 3725 image from wherever you can find it. Cisco iOS 3725 Advanced Enterprises. Advanced Enterprise Image K9 if you can obtain it from somewhere. After all that is downloaded, close out your browser, go to your Router Gods home folder there, and if you double click on downloads, you'll see the two files there, your Dynamips, your GNS3, and then also, if you want, stick in your iOS image, which I'm gonna do that right now. So I had this on Windows. And that drag and drop works because you do have VMware tools installed from my previous video. Okay, everything's there. What we're gonna do is we're going to actually move this window over to the side, double click on Router Gods Home again. So you're actually gonna have two windows. Inside of the Router Gods folder, just drag your gns3.gz into there. Right click and select extract here. What it's going to do is it's going to make a folder called gns3-084rc3.source or dash source. Right click on that folder, rename it, and call it capital letters gns3 and hit enter. This gz file you could delete it so just Select it very carefully, hit delete. Go back over to the downloads folder. These two files, what you're gonna do is select them, drag them into your GNS3 folder that you just made. And now you can close out this downloads folder because you won't need it anymore. Maximize the router gods folder. Now double click the GNS3 folder. Now this Dynamips 
icon right there. Right click on that guy. You're going to need to change the permissions. So click on permissions. So right here you can see that router gods is read only. So let's change that to read write and change others to read write as well. Click close. And now let's double click the GNS3 icon. It's this guy right here. Double click. It's going to ask you whether you want to run it or run in terminal. I'm going to select run. And it looks like it started up just fine. That's pretty nice. We could follow the steps here. And so let's do that. This is with the new GNS3. So this is the three steps we have to do. Configure our path to the iOS image. This is where you should store all your images. Sure. Look, click on step one. And our path for images, it's already filled it in. Slash images and slash projects. So that looks pretty good. Let's close out that. Check the path to your Dynamips. Step two, let's click on that. We're going to click on these three dots there, and we just have to find our Dynamips file. So click on that and scroll down. There's our Dynamips file. Click once on there and click Open, and it's going to fill in the path. And everything else looks pretty good. We're going to click Test Settings. Oh, looks like it's failed to start Dynamips. Let's go back to our GNS3 folder here. Right-click Dynamips, Properties permissions and let's say allow executing file as a program and hopefully that fixes it go back into GNS3 test settings again and we have successfully started so remember to select that checkbox that says allow it to be executed as a program and we'll click OK it's asking would you like to create the project image directories yes we do and let me show you what it just did. If we go back to our GNS3 folder, it just made this folder, images, and it just made projects. So what we're going to do for that images folder, we're going to find our C3725 image and just drag it in there. And now we can close out our GNS3 folder. Let's click on step three. You can see it's blank. We don't have any images. We're going to click these three dots and we have to find that 3725 and look at that. It's automatically in there. Let's click open. Leave everything else the same. Well, actually for the default RAM, change that to 256. That's going to make your life a lot easier in the future if you decide to do your CCIE labs using GNS3. And then click save. It's going to give you a warning warning. Idle PC needs to be configured. Yeah, sure. We'll click close. And we'll click OK. And we are presented with the main GNS3 page. We're going to maximize it by clicking the plus symbol right there. And this interface is a little bit different. I'm going to close out the captures window, close out the topology summary, and close out the console window. And just do a quick test. Click on the router icon here. Click on 3700. Drag one in there. And so we got router one, let's click on play. And then click on the console button there. Console connect to all devices. And let's see if we get a console window and we don't. So don't worry about it. We go to edit preferences. We probably need to select a different terminal. So under general, go to terminal settings and let's click the drop down. and we have mate terminal Linux Mint or GNOME Terminal. Let's click GNOME Terminal, click Use. And let's see if I could resize this any. Let's hit Enter or close that out. Okay, let's click on Console again. Console to all devices. And do we have a console window? No, we don't have a console window. Okay, go back to Edit, Preferences. Terminal settings. Let's see here. Let's click the drop down. Let's pick mate terminal. Let's see. Enter. See if I can resize my Linux window a little bit. Okay, I just had to extend it. Click OK. Now let's see if we can console in. There we go. So I just had to pick a different terminal window. So usually it's either going to be Linux mate 
or GNOME terminal. If you're on KDE, then you're going to do KDE. Hit enter a couple times and you're going to have to select or configure an idle PC value so that your CPU doesn't zoom up to 100%. So with just one router there and your console window, after hitting enter a couple times, right click on R1 and select idle PC. It's going to take about 5 to 10 seconds and then when a list comes up you're going to pick the one with a star symbol. If you don't have one with the star symbol then keep doing this so cancel, right click, idle PC and you might have to do it two or three times until the star comes up. If you get one with multiple star symbols just pick the one with the lowest number next to it. And right here we've got 153, we'll click OK and we are done. If you want to verify your work, go up to Edit iOS Images, click on your image right there that's listed, and then you should see under Idle PC it popped in a value for you. All right, that was a quick and easy video of installing GNS3 inside of Linux Mint 14 Mate Edition. Thanks for watching.